exceptional road. Miles away from the nearest pub, no sign of any abode, not a shear and shed inside, not a sign of a wayside shack. I want to tell you about a bloke on the game. Well, we call him Lazy Jack, and he, he was as slow as a fossil. Well, he hardly moved at all. But could he go like lightning when he heard that smoke call? He would head for the nearest patch of shade, he'd sprawl out like a lizard. The only way he could get him up was to poke him in the gizzard. Lunchtime, Jack looks round to find a shady tree. No trees round that place as far as the eye could see. So the rest of us ate our lunch in the sun, given cheek to the traffic control. No one noticed Lazy Jack creep under the big road roller. Well, no one thought to wake him up because no one saw him go. Just a bit after we started, well, we heard a sort of a, a oh, well, it was actually more of a muffled popping sound. <laughs> but by then, it was too late. And there was Jack, and he was spread out on the road, and he was as flat as a dinner plate. <laughs> Well, the foreman came and scratched his head and he said, in a thoughtful way, we'll never be able to pick him up. We'll be scraping here all day. <laughs> I tell you what, we'll back up a truck and drop a load of rubble and spread it out. Roll it flat. It'll save a lot of trouble. <laughs> so that's what we did. There's a lonely cross out there on the empty plain. That's 300 yards from Jackson Spence. That's just after you crossed the drain. And that was the end of Lazy Jack. He'd heard his last smoke o call. He's still there, flat as a dinner plate. But now, he doesn't move at all. <laughs> Lazy Jack can look back. <laughs>